geometry, you guys should already know pretty much all of these, but I'm going to review them with you. Before I do that, I want you guys to talk with your tables about what you think the definitions for these are and some examples. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys a minute to talk with your tables. If you don't get through all of them, that's really fine. Thank you, I think you guys know what you're talking about. So let's review these. I am actually going to start down here with the point. So you guys can make this chart. When you make this chart, you can put that first. So a point is any dot in space. Okay? And we are going to think of that with our fist. So make a fist for me. Okay? This is a point. So if I was looking at this wall, here's our surface. Right here is a point, right here is a point, right here is a point. Anywhere is a point. So we are going to define that, you can put this in your journal, as any dot on a surface. I'll write that down for yourself. I'm down here. Any dot on a surface. Okay. And you guys know the uh, mathematical representation of that? It's just a period. So just draw a big old dot, and then you can color it in. Okay, so there is our point. If you have a collection of points that are in a straight line, so let me draw that for you. So you have a point here, 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 there. You have like a couple points that are all in a row, all in a straight line. That is what we call a line. So you guys can connect those dots, connect those points in your journal. There's a line. Now, how we're going to think about that is we are going to spread our arms out. We are going to extend our arms. Can you guys do that for me? Okay. And a line is special because a line goes on forever in both directions. So wiggle your fingers for me. Show me that it goes on forever and ever and ever. Okay. So what is a point? How do we look at a point? A fist and then a line is extending. Wiggle your fingers. All right. So the definition of a line is a collection of points. So write that down. A collection of points that extends. Oh, let's that one. That extends forever. Okay. Obtuse angle is going to be. They're complete opposite of a cube. It is anything greater than 90 degrees or less and less than 180 degrees. So if this is our right angle, our obtuse angle is all the way this way, so somewhere in this area. Okay? So let's define that. Any angle, any angle greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees. Okay, and when you're drawing your angle, you can do any side you want as long as it's not a flat line or it's not a right angle. So that's all of them. Once you guys are done writing, we're going to review it one more time. Okay, I think most of you are done. So, we're going to do our little hand things, okay? Let's start at Let's start at a point. So what's our point? Our fist. And a line. Awesome. With your fingers. Good job. A line segment. Okay, we put our points. A ray. Okay, awesome. It has one extending forever. And parallel lines. Okay, straight up and down. Make sure they won't cross. Intersecting lines. Okay, awesome. Perpendicular lines. Alright, those are only going to cross at 90 degrees. Right angle. Yeah, awesome. Put it right up by your ear so you're not obtuse. Uh, acute angle. Okay, and that's going to be a really small one. <laughs> obtuse angle. Okay, that's going to be pretty big. And then straight angle. You're totally flat. This is just like your line except you're going to have a vertex. So awesome. You guys did really well.
Before we get started on our activity, I want you guys to look around the room and find some real examples in the classroom of all of these things or whatever you can find. So I'm going to give you guys a minute to stay in your seats and look around, see what you can find, and then talk with your tables about it.